Hello and welcome to Nexus. <clears throat> Feeling a little bit better today, but uh, my voice not it hasn't quite recovered fully yet, but uh, uh, <clears throat> it's getting there. It's getting there and we'll get through this cast. In the red, we have Isana Kreuz, aka EK. It's in the game playing as the Soviet and he's up against the happy Dutchman. No, I meant the sad, oh, God damn it, the angry Dutchman playing as the Oper Commander Vest. And he has locked in the Grand Offensive Doctrine, giving him access to uh, parts official ears. While they may be a little bit weaker than uh, Volksgrenadiers early on, they do come with that benefit of actually having access to snares early on. And that could be useful because we see Heisner Kreuz going for a special rifle command, giving him access to the M3 light scout car. Shots fired. <clears throat> Voice cracking. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, they should be able to handle this or well so i thought down to 50 percent of their firepower uh, that's rather bad trying to make a move here surprise oh second volley but uh, oh man he needs to retreat soon come on well back again after having been reinforced here we also see Panzer Fusiliers are about to hit the field now. Uh, so far, Isana Kreuz is happily producing those penal battalions here. Say, isn't battalion a little too... Uh, isn't that a little wrong? I mean, a battalion, isn't that usually much bigger? I mean, six men? <laughs> Isn't that battalion around 140? Or maybe even more? Maybe less? I don't know. Strafbach need orders. Uh, just chipping on over there and... Well, Dutchie's start here. He needs some fuel. He tried down here. Didn't succeed. He tried up there. Didn't succeed. Uh, Panzer Fusiliers. Well, at least he's preventing Eisen Kreuz from getting a double fuel go inside here two windows no actually free mm, but then again this penal battalion here have lost almost half health so yeah they're not gonna stick around or are they if they are well help was on the way but so it is for dutchy <clears throat> and with the sight of the uh stone pioneers here this low health squad Turns back to base, saving ice and a cross of a couple of um, manpower points. Oh, look at this here. Just around the corner and immediately in close range. Stone Pioneers doing work. Well, after the scout car has been revealed, we now take a look up here and see that uh, another Panzer Fusilier squad is on the way. And that can be used to slightly uh push the uh light scout car a little back here but you know it's just a light scout car here kiting really oh ho, ho, ho. he was he just managed to push off the um combat engineers that were meant to go in the scout car here so good move for dutchy oh did he get it i think he did yeah he's prone Ah, this is kaput holding fire here hoping to hide in the fog of war but there's no way the dutchie can uh, catch that yeah otherwise he would just lose the squad if he tried to continue to pursue it <coughs> anywho medical supplies completed and as we can see here, this truck has just been out on a little excursion before heading back into base, where it will uh, probably be the, uh, yeah, ba battle group headquarters. Supplies! Stand to. 
So, Isenna Kreuz, what's your next move? So far, this doesn't really uh, seem to be the way. Usually, people go for free mainline infantry. Aha! You cheeky, cheeky little bugger. Going for the sniper here, making life difficult for the angry Dutchman. Oh, well, that's a snare. Or is it? Well, yeah. Not that it's going to do too much, because, you know, the, the um, engineers were already there, good to go. Or so I would have thought, but actually Dutchman, he's sticking around here with the Panzer Fusiliers, trying to fight off the uh, combat engineers, but oh yeah, look at that. Good burst. Ah, second burst, killing two of them. Meanwhile, Dutchman, he is doing better up north. He still has his fuel under his control, just needs to cap the VP to uh, stop the rather... Uh, he could take this, then stopping the bleed, actually. <laughs> Whereas the northern one would only have slowed it down. Ah, uh, he's on the job right now. Volksgrenadier is gonna take that. And back in base. Uh, we already see that the mechanized battle group support has been unlocked and medics too. Yeah. But uh, no medic can save you once a bullet has passed through your skull. Ooh. Hmm. Oh boy. Soviet Reserve Army has been locked in, allowing him conscripts to operate with PPSH, drop weapons, mm -hmm. and of course the Commissar. Ugh. And there he is with the uh, this fear propaganda artillery here. Ugh, such a nasty ability has a huge area effect and its effect too is definitely not negligible they can be hard not just when you're talking to someone about love back at the scene it is just Eisner Kreuz who is just well I can't really say he's digging down because, well, he has no conscripts to get down any sandbag, so he has to rely on a natural cover, or if Dutchie he should have somehow misplace one of his sandbags to give full access, but uh, no, it is quite limited what he can get from a Dutchie's sandbags. Captured, just denying the angry Dutchman has the munitions, munition he needs to get his weapon upgrades on his men. And this here is just begging for uh, some fear propaganda, but fortunately for Dutchman, Eisenhower Kreuz didn't have uh, the munitions. Well, there goes the Commissar, and what do you know, Medic is even armed with a rifle. Anata pushing them outside of the, that light cover. And still, the M3 is uh, pretty much left unopposed besides the snares. But Dutchman already getting out the Raken Werfer to help combat the light scout car. Hmm. Well, looks like it might be combating more than just the light scout car. The tank of the battalion command is going up for ice and a cross. Mm. Oh boy. Two quick model drops. Mm hmm. Hiccups. And there it is. The T 70 is making its way to the battlefield. I wouldn't exactly say it's making its way downtown. That would be odd. I'll just go shopping in my tank. Well, that's 30 manpower down the drain. Well, not exactly down the drain, but lost, nevertheless. Oh, sniper here, dealing a death blow by death blow. I do believe that the light scout car here is providing much of a division. As I do believe that 
if it hadn't been there, then the vision would just have been limited there to there. So uh, she wouldn't have been able to see the heavy machine gun on her own. Well, the 270 down. Mines have been planting in Mine Valley. Same goes up here for Duchy. Synchronous Mines. Oh, where are you going? You're sitting up here. Well, a bit forward. But, okay. Has good range. I mean, covers any uh, potential flanks on this. Ah, excuse me. Anyone trying to drop in from behind there. Not gonna happen. Or at least it's less likely to happen. Mine spotted. Oh, this one up here could also potentially be revealed. Yeah. Oh, nope. Not gonna do that. S nope. Straight out of there. Oh, boy. If he goes over here, he'll be safe from that squad. But then there's the other squad. Ah, oh, <laughs> surprise. Nope, 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 nope. And G43s are definitely being issued. Oh, needs to get behind here. There's no point in staying there. Oh, they died. Well, besides drawing fire, allowing the Panzer Fusiliers to get in closer. Ah, well. Ay! I'm not sure if. Okay, a sniper taking a shot here. Ah. He did try to make a move, you know, jumping in and out of cover to prevent any. Uh, sniper fire from happening oh boy these boys here are low yeah not gonna stick around risking any losses but here comes the commissar there's a grenade oh ho, ho. timing was just off a tiny bit but let's see can you get away can i get away and he's safe right right about now the funk soul brother we have a panther authorization just a minute well not even a minute well a minute i'd say then uh, dutchy will be able to push out his uh, panzer four and weapon drops oh what's it gonna be what's in the box uh, maxim and a siscon oh just what i always wanted you shouldn't have oh no mine ouch <laughs> well, the T-70 is not going to give chase because last time it was over here, there were a raquette and warfare. Ah, it's down there. Oh, no. Uh, Panzer Faust did, but pulls the raquette and warfare away as... Uh... No, okay. That was... Uh... That could have been uh... soul crushing for Dutchie if he had lost one of his squads to the satchel touch there or, you know both of them oh he wants them dead but ah, the soviets are looking out for their comrades Well, it's awfully quiet here on the middle. Nobody's here. All alone. Except for the dead. Here to haunt the place. Hello? Where are you? Well, somebody's over there. Somebody's down there. Taking up. Pentafor is on the way. And... Ah, okay, here's some action. Well what it's worth it is the most action that we'll probably see now something happening or well then there's also the panzer 4 <laughs> coming into the battlefield but okay set down the machine gun pull the trigger just another day at the office g for the freeze here it's not like we've seen um Eisen and Kreuz utilize the commissar's abilities Mm, but I suspect that could change now that he has a bunch of munitions stocked up. 
then uh, we'll probably see some fear propaganda. Sniper. Oh, gotta fall back a little bit here. Man. Something curious. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, man. She almost died due to the, uh, blow the mind blowing up in her face. Yikes. Coordinated barrage coming in from the tank commander here, shuffling uh, the Siskon's position a little bit. Wow, what a miss. And what a miss. What a miss. And again, a miss. Well, that grenade won't miss. Still tanking it, staying in the green cover there. Meanwhile, the T-70 is trying to improve its aim. And look, it's only killed two models. Uh, make that free. And two of them were killed down here, so it's not like the T-70 has had that much of a direct impact for Eisenacroix. However, something that has had an impact is uh, this lady there. Her aim is true, and she's been gunning down Germans. <clears throat> Is that another mine? Eh. If it was, then it didn't affect the uh Hunter for another barrage, really. Not really sure what he wanted to happen there. You know maybe he really counted on the artillery hitting the Siskon. Yeah. Well, at least Tyson Acroix has his uh, T-34 back on the field here. <clears throat> but it's not like it can just walk up and destroy the Panzer IV. There is a Rakitenwurf out on the field. Plus, it is actually within the range of the Svata Panzer headquarters, which uh, can take a chunk of health off the T-34. Right. Let's have a look at the VPs here for a brief moment. It is a Dutchy who is behind and Eisenhower Kreuz who is in the lead. And yeah, leading with roughly 100 points. <laughs> and here we see Eisenhower Kreuz doing minesweeping Soviet style. Oh, there we go. Finally, it's a... Well, not actually Soviet style, but mm, maybe Russian style. <laughs> the soviet style would just have been sending men to walk over there where we suspect there is a minefield <laughs> i'm joking by the way i don't think that actually happened man i couldn't imagine it happened no 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 well dodgy he is certainly walking into the hornet's nest here Walking into sniper fire, bullet fire, fire fire, T-70 fire. Yeesh. And uh, to no one's surprise, he uh, he got hurt in that engagement. And I'm not talking about his feelings. <laughs> anyway, T-70 got a hit off here, so it'll be a little more cautious sticking its nose out. At least uh, Dutchie did manage to grab the middle VP coming in from this angle up here. While uh, the boys, well, some of them are lying there. I said, Acroyce is uh, perhaps a little too posh. I don't need no stinking Maxim. Oh no, uh, that's a weapon for peasants. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, order, order these to uh, grab it. Uh, I cannot lay my filthy hands on that. Well, even they are <laughs> a bit hesitant. I mean, no, it's yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Okay, there we go. After getting threatened by the NKVD commissar here, they actually uh, grabbed the weapon. Four ready. 
smoke bombs just making a little delivery here also getting us some scouting in but mm, he's not the only one scouting that was a flare in the sky giving a little bit of the vision here for Eisner Kreuz as you can see it just illuminates the middle ground hmm Panzer IV takes another kill, making it almost up to 10. Look at this. And it's gone. Hmm. Oh, Dutchy. Yeah. Managed just to save up for a King Tiger. And that ought to be uh, very helpful uh, versus uh, Eisenhower Kreuz build here. Seeing as... Uh, the strongest he has is a single AT gun when it comes to reliably penetrating the front alarm or of the uh, KT. These smaller T-34s here, uh, they should try to get some rear armor shots in. Oh, Tiger has revealed itself. Oh, holding fire, ordering to target here and there, getting rid of some mines in the predictable spots. And there it is, the Siskon. With its uh, first... Oh, hello. What? <laughs> ah, it was a reaction to uh, the plane. I just heard the T-70 say, Oh, shit. A uh, voice line I never heard before. Meanwhile, Dutchman taking his time to put down a couple of mines here. And what? At a, a second ago, he had two light scout cars queued up. Cancelled one of them. What? Um, he's given... Oh, shoot. They did. He has given PGRS rifles to his uh, penal battalions now. Leaving uh, his anti-infantry uh, to the sniper and double flamethrowers and also uh, the commissar. It should be good enough. Plus... Penal battalions with PTRS rifles are um, good versus diving tanks. Getting uh, the tank to come in, into range there and then you can throw that anti-vehicle satchel charge which just does a lot of damage in addition to uh, engine damage. More flares in the sky. Yeah, should be uh, visible now. Actually, it's not even repaired, but oh, down to half health now. Eesh. What is he gonna do? Hold fire? Is he gonna attempt some sort of a crazy drive-by? I hear artillery fall. Didn't I? I should. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, it's all over here. Nope. Nope. Sorry, Dutchman, but Eisenhower Kreuz was paying attention. <laughs> scout car. Scouting. T-70. Scouting. Man, Eisenhower Kreuz is like a scout army. Gotta go. Let's see. One more shot is needed. Ah. Good shot. Hmm. But the uh, replacement is already on its way now, Fice and Acroix. This is not a safe area, eh? You used to say this is not a good place for a T-70. What happened, man? You changed. Alright. Tiger has had its armor shined up. Uh, where are those penals, guys? Well, one of them is sitting there. Where's the other one? Well, not quite uh, in a position to take shots at the, the KT. Charging in. Straight on in here. Giving chase. I don't know where the sniper went. Ah, she's down here. Well, that's one uh, combat engineer less. And we can see that she's trying to inch his way towards... Uh, there's a little holdout here for Eisenhower Kreuz. Heavy armor. Oh boy. Here we see the clown car. Damage, however, minimum. 
and yeah okay they did manage to get the satchel charge off in uh, what was uh an uh creative attempt i'd say points for creativity uh impact well he did actually manage to get the kt away here so not all was in vain now this, this gun just needs to help out here with the panther 4 and well the nice and of course could be golden but smoke coming in and the panther 4 is safe well would you look at the vps <clears throat> dutchy has actually managed to turn this uh, fight around he has a small lead but uh that's more than we could say uh, before. If I remember correctly. Right. Last truck arriving. Indicating that a uh, Dutchman probably wants mechanics to help him. Should also give him access to um, the King Tiger. Walking Stuka. Well, there it is. Second weapon drop, allowing um, Eisenhower Kreuz to have two Siskon on the field without having to backtake to the support weapons company. Man, I gotta give uh, credit to Dutch here for uh, utilizing uh, his uh, smoke ability here. Time to settle down. It's a bit, f bit forward. It's not really. Well, I'm afraid that an SU-85 might be able to take that down rather easily. But then again, Isaac Royce doesn't have one in his uh, army composition, so should be good enough. Here's hoping. Anywho, sniper, 27 kills. Has reached the uh, one kill per minute mark. Which is all very well done, considering she got onto the battlefield at a um, later stage. Meanwhile both armies are licking their wounds getting ready for another bout this panzer 4 here is, gets uh, the ballet going if he actually could hit that tank commander up there he's supposed to improve uh, accuracy but uh, I've yet to see it <laughs> at least in this uh, exchange here and again I mean he doesn't really earn that much from calling down the barrage when he wanted to just back off anyway now let us see here it's not like we've seen uh, Eisenhower Kreuz been uh, being the big spender on the munition front here and even yeah we haven't even seen any fear artillery being used by him Dutchy doing a little bit of involuntary scouting as he scouted the Maxim pointing well at his men <laughs> okay here it is Isaac Kreuz makes his move oh but he's met with the fury of a uh, hundred and twenty well not a hundred and twenty uh, one thousand and two hundred rounds per minute thus is the fury PTRS gang here pushing away the Panzer IV without having done any significant damage to this squad here. <laughs> oh my god. And look at this. These two squads here, they dropped one model and they, in exchange they took down the Panzer IV to half health. They are some tough penals. Haha. <laughs> Commissar is like. Ah! Get me out of here. Well, there's the sniper. Oh God, please retreat that squad. Please retreat it. 
Okay, he's gonna leave one more prison, and then it's time to go. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shame. Okay, now he re-engages, or at least attempts to, but shot blocked. And thus, the Siskan gets time to set up once again. Oh, what's going on down here? Didn't quite get snared, though. But still, significant damage has been done to the T-34. It's, it's now sits at half health. And I heard that flare go off. No, that wasn't it. Could have been a... Aha! It's a flare from the Panzer Fusiliers. Giving a little bit of vision here to Eisenhower Kreuz frontal army. Oh! And again, Dutchie he just continues to try to inch his way into uh, Eisenhower Kreuz. Heavily fortified area here. By the way, up here losing that penal squad. Oh no. Well then, in terms of VPs, the situation is becoming rather desperate here for Eisenhower Kreuz as he's losing VPs fast. It's making matters worse. Oh, he's gonna lose this T-34. Shoot. And, and at, at the same time, Stern Pioneers trying to uh, liberate the Siskan here of uh, all its acquired veterans. And it's just Eisenhower Kreuz who was in... Uh, well, he's actually his front line here is collapsing. Oh my God! I uh, thought she picked the right time to initiate this push here, and boy, it was executed well. Ah, uh, artillery dropping there. Combat engineers going down there. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this gun here. It's gonna die. It's gonna die, but not before it got a shot off. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, that squad that was killed, it was just a Siskan T-34 going in. Time to ram. Ram. It's activated too late. It died. Will he reuse a ram here? Oh, it's gonna miss. I don't think a ram is enough to kill it, so... Oh, sadly, improved. Command Tiger. Oh. And I believe... That Dutchie has just delivered the knockout. Yeah, Eisenhower Kreuz surrenders. All right, then. That's it for this time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'll be uh, back later. Hopefully my voice will uh, have recovered even more. Um, don't forget to dislike the video if you disliked it. And uh, if you're interested, I got some stats here for you. Uh, actually quite even when it comes to uh, kill deaths and yeah angry Dutchman he just ran away from uh, Eisenhower Kreuz at this point and then at one point Eisenhower Kreuz just couldn't uh, keep up anymore and he he flatlined well not exactly flatlined he crashed <laughs> looking at the graph here I'd say crashing is uh, an appropriate term Resources, kind of even. Dutchie had the most, and then at one point he called in uh, the Tiger. Mm -hmm. Points held. A little bit of Dutchie, a little bit of EK here in the early game. And then settling in for Dutch domination. Units for Eisenhower Kreuz in all their full glory. So, yeah. And now for uh, Dutchy and his units. Don't really think there's anything uh, outstanding, remarkable here. So yeah, I'll see you. Goodbye.